Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 15, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. As you can see, we have rallied all the way up to 40,000. And then we gave those gains back at the end of this, basically tonight. So this is trading every basically every single day. And most of the action is basically when, when everything else is closed. So um, this is a, not a massive market, but it's a really volatile market. All the swings by, by 2 to 20% uh, in, in days. So yes, it's a very volatile market. So it looks like we ran into quite a lot of resistance here when we got to 40, it broke down. And uh, yes, if you look at technical indicators, they are looking very bullish at this current stage. If you look at the weekly chart, we can see that we are very, very, very overstretched. We are way outside of here with the Bollinger Band, but 40 is basically the target. That, well, basically we found support here at 40. So we are found the resistance here at 30 and support here at 40. So it may well be that we'll see this start trading sideways for a while. We could get a range around this area where we are falling towards 30 and then rallying back to 40. So that would basically give us time, give the 20 exponential and the, and the 50 and the 200 here to uh, catch up with this price. So we may not see a massive fall towards the 20. Instead, we may just see something that just go back and forward in this area. So, but still, I have no interest in basically buying this. I want this to basically fall significantly further before um, I have any interest in basically buying this because it's just too risky. You can start investing now and tomorrow it can fall by 20%. And basically I get a loss of 20% in a day that on one bet, that is just not a good idea. So let's look at Ethereum. So this is also um, a very bullish cryptocurrency. As you can see, we found support here at the 20 and the 20 simple moving average and the 20 exponential moving average. And now we're heading back towards the previous highs. We found resistant here at 1238. Uh, and now we have a quite a bit of a pullback. Technical indicators are very bullish, but a pullback to the, towards the 20, that is your buying opportunity in this uh, into this cryptocurrency. At this current stage, you're too late. You basically have to wait for the next pullback if you want to, uh, to um, have a, a fairly low risk uh, investment in, with um, high profitability. To enter it now, would be uh, way too risky. But it looks like similar to uh, to Bitcoin, uh, 900 or roughly 1,000 here into uh, 1,250, give or take. That is basically looking like the new range. So we may go back and forward within this area here for some time. So let's look at uh, XRR, XRP, I was supposed to say. So nothing really happened here. We fell a little bit uh, in trading session day. We we're trading um, right at uh, underneath the 200 moving average above the simple 20 uh, moving average. And uh, technical indicators, they are, well, they're turning around. They are becoming bearish. So it may well be that we'll head back to these previous lows. Um, it doesn't look very bullish for this cryptocurrency, to be fairly honest. I, it is more likely that this will fall than this will rally uh, similar to what we basically saw here. So let's look at Litcoin. So we can see that we have tried to rally uh, up to 154 and then gave all of those gains back. And now we're basically back where we really started. So we are right at the 20 simple moving average here in the middle of the Bollinger Band. Technical indicators are turning around. So so uh, if these cross the, the, their signal lines, that is a bullish indication that we are going to go higher. We found the major uh, support here just above the 50 moving average. 
and we are also finding support here at the 20 exponential moving average. So at this point, the target is basically at the top of the Bollinger Band here, so roughly 177. So let's look at NEO. So as you can see, we are trying to rally up towards 23.70 and then gave most of those gains back. I would not be surprised if we saw uh, quite a big pullback towards roughly 20. Uh, so that is just about the 20 exponential. Uh, it is uh, the previous highs over here and it's also just a very round number. Technical indicators are flat out of or turning around. So we may see this pullback towards 20 and then go higher. That is what I'm hoping for to enter the market around this area here and then target roughly 23.09. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.